Yo, what's up you guys? It's your boy Pretty Boy Floyd. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these pants inspired by Joji slowly dancing in the dark. These are like these fawn, half man, half goat type pants um, and with these hooves. Um, I actually made this by scratch and I actually did this for a photo shoot that I'm going to show you guys um, later or I'll put it right here so that you guys can see the pictures. Um, and this took me about three weeks. Um, to make I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it was pretty tough. It was pretty challenging I had to do a lot of things that like I didn't know how to do like um, Making resin for the hooves like I had to make the shoes like everything was from scratch Like I had to buy the fabric. I had to you know piece together the hooves and all that So basically I scheduled this photo shoot But it was gonna be like within like the next month or so like I said it took me like three weeks um, So I had to get on top of it now here on etsy i could buy it for like 325 dollars but it was me and for another uh female model so that would be like 650 dollars in total but i'm happy to say that it only took me like 300 dollars to make two of these so yeah i had to you know put in a lot of work and stuff but all in all it came out pretty good this is what it looks like um on me and then i made another one for the other model and um yeah, man, as y'all can see, it's pretty cool. And I'm about to show you guys real quick. This is some fabric that I got from Walmart. It's just some faux fur fabric. As you can see, my studio is a fucking mess. Um, basically, man, <clears throat> I just drew pants. Like, that's as simple as it gets. So here they are on, just raw, just like no tailoring, no nothing. Like you said, you just want to simplify it as much as you can draw some pants and just make you know pant shaped faux fur like fabric i don't know how else to like just simplify it as much as you can so obviously you needed some tailor and obviously that's you know what i'm about to do next um so here i am sewing the sides down um i'm not going to teach you how to sew there's a whole bunch of like youtube tutorials on how to sew and it take way too long but as you can see turn to the inside out and um, I took some safety pens um, in order to like tailor it more and to like know how it's going to fit before I actually stitch it. So yeah, here I'm just tailoring the outside leg and here's what it looks like with the safety pens on. So yeah, and I didn't, I didn't even cut off the end of the pants just yet. I like just tucked them in a little bit because once you cut something off, it's gone. Like you're not going to like you can't you can't add fabric. You can take away fabric, but you can't add it. So yeah, here's another look. I don't think I sewed them on just yet, but yeah, I'm just getting a feel for it. You know what I'm saying? At this point, it felt pretty good. So yeah, here I am sewing some elastic band onto the waistband um, because I don't want it to be a fixed length. Um, the reason why is because come the photo shoot day, like I said, I'm making it for another model. It could be like, you know, too big or too small. So like I wanted to have a little bit of give. So I knew that the elastic band would come into play here. So other than that, the pants are done for the most part. All I have to do is just cut off the leg and stuff. But um, here, I'm going to be showing you guys some heels. Yes, heels. My mom looked at my Amazon purchase and was like, son, we got to talk. And, you know, I, I had to show her. I was just like, no, no, no. Look, it's not what you think. It's for, you know, it's for a photo shoot or whatever. So I took some cling wrap and attached it to the heel, like to the front part of the heel. And then I took some molding clay. And I'm just like molding a hoof shape onto the heel like i'm just kind of looking up images on google of like uh horse hooves or like hooves of like the costume and stuff like that and trying to replicate it to the best of my ability and as you can see with some fine tuning and some smoothing out and stuff um it's, it's turned out pretty good you know um this definitely took me a while but like i said it was pretty enjoyable you know just listen to a podcast and you know do all that and uh, yeah, I took some um, some clay sculpting tools, like in order to make the details of the hooves. So like I would, uh, you know, make little lines here and there, you know, like, I, you know, that's what hooves look like up close. You know, it's not like super clean and stuff. So, yeah. 
There you go. So yeah, just so you guys can get like a feel. What I'm doing. And this is the finished product, I believe, before um, I set it to dry. Yeah, so of course I'm gonna remove the heel, and that's the point of the uh, the cling wrap too, so like the clay doesn't get onto the heel itself. Um, and also, you're going to need this for like basically what I'm doing is I'm making a mold for the resin, and I'm gonna show you guys that later. But I learned this in in elementary school in art class is like put clay in the oven in order like for it to dry faster. So I, I was like at 250 degrees, and um. I put it in there for maybe like 20, 25 minutes. I don't know. Google it. Google how to dry air clay faster. But here, I'm actually going to show you guys something that did not work. And I took some of this uh, mold builder. Um, and this took forever. If you guys see those little tack marks or whatever, I did this like 12 layers. It's like 12 layers of this mold builder. Um, because like I said, I, I needed to make a mold for the resin. And I followed a tutorial on this mold builder and stuff, bought some thermoplastic that was like $60. The mold builder was like $30. And guess what? It didn't work. I just trashed it. So instead, I was just like, damn, what am I going to do? So I figured, all right, I'm going to buy some silicone, you know, like some silicone mold or whatever. I don't know how to fucking do silicone mold, but I figured it out. And uh, I just made like um, basically a box for the mold from like these old Amazon packages and I just glued the uh, the, the um, Amazon packages um, to make like a barrier. And I just poured the silicone mold on top of the clay uh, mold. And as you guys can see right there, you know, I had to like take out the hoof from the silicone mold. And bro, silicone mold is so expensive. I bought like three packs and I think they were like $50 each. I believe they're fifty dollars each. I don't know. I'll put them on a the screen right here, but um, and I'll also link them down in the description. Oh, as you can see, one of the silicone molds like broke. <laughs> oh, had hiccups. I'm so sorry. But yeah, man. Look again. I had to show y'all like, like um, even though, um, like the mold itself broke, like the clay broke, like y'all saw that, right? It didn't matter. Like that's it served its purpose. I don't need it anymore. You know. Um, so yeah, I poured in the resin. Um, you guys can look up tutorials on this. Resin is actually pretty easy to make. You just like mix part A and part B and just mix it up for like five minutes. Your your wrists are really gonna hurt, and uh, you just pour it into the silicone mode. And look at this. Yeah, but so what I did was you're going to have to make so since it was like it was my shoe size and her shoe size, I had to make clay for like each shoe. So all together, like I needed to make like a clay mold for one pair of heels and then her pair of heels. And then I needed to make silicone mold for my pair of heels and her pair of heels. So I had to like do this process twice, like for my pair of heels and her pair of heels. And um, yeah, the uh, the resin mold actually comes out pretty easily. At, uh, hold on. No, actually, I remember when I was doing her um, resin mold for the hoof. Man, I had so much trouble with that. I think I actually like. I don't know if I started over. I don't know. I can't remember, bro. But I had so much trouble because it was like small and the way like I shaped the end, it was having trouble like getting out. So, um, so good thing I'm like done with this because that hole got way too big. And I remember I patched it up with like whatever I could find so that the resin could like stay in the silicone mode. Like I patched it up with like gloves, fucking like plastic wrap, super glue bruh like whenever like i run into problems i'm just like all right how can i fucking like overcome this like i i get like real creative somehow you know i mean that is what creativity is you know just being resourceful anyway 
All right, so now we're starting on uh, her hooves. So these are smaller, um, and I'm going to take some silicone mold. And as you can see, after I molded it, I had so much trouble because the clay wasn't fully dry. Um, <laughs> after the mold like um, settled and dried and stuff, um, I I picked at it, bro. Like I just kept picking up clay pieces, even though it broke. So yeah, you guys saw. I mixed in a resin and I'm letting my sister take this out. Um, so like some of the resin, like, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like I took like gloves to the end of the thing because like, I guess like I didn't have enough silicone mold and, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm like trying to tell her like, <laughs> be careful, like don't rip it. But, um. Yeah, we finally got it out. A piece of my glove is on top of the hoof, but that's okay because we're going to paint it black anyways. So basically, I'm just letting Asia like <laughs> take all like the resin hooves out while I um, put them onto the heel. And yeah, as you can see, they slip on because, you know, what I did before is I made a mold for them. So like they're like custom made for like those heels. Um, so here I am painting them with just basic black acrylic paint from like Walmart for like three dollars. Um, probably like the cheapest thing I think in this whole project was the fucking paint. Uh, I'm taking some hot glue and I'm just making sure like that they're not going to come out. So I'm securing it. Um, yeah, with some super, super glue, hot glue. So yeah, this is what I'm saying, man. I had some trouble with the smaller heels because some of the silicone mold would like get like, bro, I don't know. I just had, I just had a hard time, um, but like getting them out. But by far, this is the hardest thing I had to do was chopping the heel off of the fucking heels. Like, I did not know that there's a metal, like, shank in the middle of heels. I took, bro, this took me days. Days. The other, like, the other stuff I was talking about before took me, like, hours, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care because I knew I was making progress. But, bro, I kept going back and forth, like, trying to just cut these damn heels. I took so many tools, man. Like, here, I'm taking an angle grinder. Like, I got a face shield on that's probably not like gonna protect me at all because it's like a plastic face shield but like i spent so much money and i returned so many tools because they didn't work like i bought this damn i don't even know what this is like a clamp like yeah an adjustable clamp from like harbor freight that didn't you know really do much because like the heel will still move i take an angle grinder to it and it didn't work so then I was just like, all right, well, let me just focus on something else, you know. So then I just started focusing on the other pair of heels, which um, here I had some trouble with because it was like, uh, why is this not like going in all the way? So I bought like a uh, like I tried to like sand it because I don't know, maybe I like molded the clay like kind of weird or something like that. So like I was just like, all right, well, I guess I'll like try to grind this down as much as I can and uh, force the heel in. And uh, eventually, I'm happy to say that it eventually got in or whatever. Uh, I did have to use a lot of force. I'm not going to lie. It didn't go in as easily as like my pair of heels. But uh, her pair of heels, like they cause a lot of like problems for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I think if I was smarter, like why didn't I just use like my hooves even though like they were bigger like they weren't that much bigger like they weren't like drastically bigger like i could have just used my hooves instead and used that as a template but i was but instead i like made a whole new like thing like i i molded it like completely from scratch and i don't know look all i can say is i did it it's done it's over with it's completed you know who cares how I got there? I got there. So as you guys can see, I bought a $200 bandsaw because I was like, these heels are not going to get the best of me. Like, this is the last thing I have to do. 
like in order to get these heels off like I like I told myself I was just like I don't care if I have to buy the biggest baddest tool out there like these heels are coming off I went to like two wood shops they were like oh we have nothing that can cut through metal and then I went to like a uh, an automotive shop right and they happen to be closed or whatever but like I was just like I want to get this done now like this needs to be done now like this is ridiculous it's just some it's just the heel like why is it so difficult to come off like I bought a bandsaw and saw blades that could cut through metal and it and it didn't even cut through it. And then I bought like this portable four hundred dollar bandsaw and guess what? It didn't cut through it either. So I was like, yo, what is going on? So uh, you know, this is at the firehouse and I was just like, yo. And I saw this circular saw and I was just like, yo, this I wonder if this will work. Cause saw all purpose blade and look at that. Sparks flying, bro. Bro, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm actually making some progress. This is actually going to happen. Like, and what's the craziest part about it is I didn't spend any money. The only thing is it happened to actually be somebody else's like circular saw. So like I fucked up on that because like I thought this was, I thought it was like, you know, like the firehouse's like saw, you know, but it ended up being somebody else's and he was just like, man, that can't cut through metal. But thankfully, he said it like after I cut off all the heels, you know. So like I was, you know, telling like, "Yo, bro, I'm sorry. I thought I didn't know it was yours. I didn't know it was like personal. It happened to actually be somebody's personal saw. So I mean, there there is a cost, you know. I asked him, I just like, "Yo, you want me to like replace like your blaze? Like you want to go to Home Depot right now?" He's just like, "No, man, it's all good. Like I got a pack of them at home, you know." So I mean, that's that's my fault, like. I should have asked, I guess, instead of, like, assuming it was the firehouse's, like, you know, tools or whatever. So, yeah, my bad. But, you know, I had to spend no money. Like I said, you know, I asked him. I was just like, you want me to replace it? Like, you know, we can go to Home Depot right now. You're just like, no, nah, it's all good. Like, I got packs at home. I was just like, all right. Yeah, I kept on insisting, but if somebody keeps saying, no, nah, it's all good, I'll be like, okay. But yeah, bro, as you can see, finished product right here. Heels are cut off. Uh, I put some Velcro around it, as you guys can are going to see later why I did that. And these are all for the heels with heels cut off, man. Um, like I said, that took me days. But thankfully, thankfully, if you're watching this video, man, you know how to cut heels off of heels. Or, you know, all you need is a circular saw. Like You don't need the biggest, baddest tool. <laughs> so yeah here i'm finishing some elastic um on the uh on the hems or on like the bottom right there um and this fabric glue it did not work i don't even know why i'm showing it like to you guys just use super glue like if you want to like glue down the end of the fabric um that's the only thing that works. I mean, like, super glue, yeah, it's going to be hard and itchy and stuff. But, like, the fabric glue just didn't work. And like I said, I'm only using this, like, for, like, a day, you know? So, like, I was just like, I don't really care, you know? Like, it's not really, like, a comfort thing. It's more like an aesthetic thing. So, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm taking some pantyhose and, like, I'm putting it over the heel in order to make, look. God, I want to get back. Come on, bro. But anyways, the whole pantyhose thing over, because I was just like, all right, how am I going to make like that nude color like pant, you know, look or whatever. Um, so I was just like, all right, let me take some pantyhose and put it over the uh, shoe. Didn't work. Actually, what it did do, though, is it added support for the fur that I put on the front of the heel in order to like, you know, like put a little bit over like the hoof and stuff. And instead of buying pantyhose, like, I just went to the mall and just went to, like, this legging shop and just bought, like, some nude colored leggings. And, yeah, that's all I did, bro. <sighs> Sometimes, bro, I make things more complicated than they need to be. And, like, it's crazy how, like, complicated I get. And then, like, in reality, what the problem, like, how simple the problem actually is. But... I don't know. I guess I'll never know, like, the simple way to do it until, like, I do it the complicated way. I don't know. I, I guess that's how I am. And, uh, yeah, it's it, it's done. It's done. 
Like, I don't, I don't care how it got done. It's done. Um, and it looks pretty good. I'm going to show you all that real quick. And it's also my sister making fun of me, saying how I look like Percy Jackson, too. <laughs> you ugly as hell, boy. <laughs> Percy Jackson, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro, she she got me good. I, f I forgot about the movies. I forgot about the Percy Jackson movie and the Narnia movie. I especially forgot about the Narnia joint. Thomas, T is that how this nigga? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I think that's that nigga name, Thomas. Thomas or whatever. Um, yeah. So here I'm making like a uh, a wound for the arrow to go through. This is like the finishing touches. This is like I got rid of the important stuff, which was like to make that that costume. Now it's time to like make that like arrow going through me effect. So I like took some liquid latex and then I mix it with some flour. There's some YouTube tutorials on this um, in order to like make like a gross like wound or whatever. And also because it's an arrow, so it's going to need some uh, some stability and, uh, you know, a little bit more substance to like have it like stick out. So, yeah, eventually, like I like super glued the arrow to like this latex and flour mixture in order to like have it stay um just because yeah all right so here are the arrows i cut it in half and um i attached it to the liquid latex that i made and i painted it and put some fake blood on there and all i have to do is just attach them to my back and my chest um with some uh adhesive some skin adhesive uh prosaid and then i'm just taking some liquid latex and tweezing the edges so that they're not so clean and they look more skin like yeah, man, this is the end of the video. Uh, here are the photos. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process. Um, it did take me a while, but, you know, um, it was pretty cool because it was just like, yo, like, I have, like, two or three weeks, like, to make this thing. And, like, those people are not going to be able to ship it out in time. Like, it took, it would have took, like, two months for them to ship it out. So I was just like, dang. So I got to make it. I got to make it from scratch, you know. Um, that's the benefit of being self sufficient uh, That's the benefit of being self-sufficient, bruh. Like, when you know how to do shit, you don't got to rely on nobody. You know what I'm saying? When you got the skills. Not only the skills, bro, but, like, think about, like, bro, skills aren't even enough when it came to this type of shit, bro. Like, it was just like, yo, like, I had to mentally be strong. And I did it. You know what I'm saying? I persevered through that shit. Like I do with everything else in life, and uh, I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna keep on persevering. I'm gonna keep on pushing. So, yeah, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.